Hello, Jetta asked me to make a video regarding speed limits leaving German villages and towns. So let's start quickly, Mente. Right now we are about to leave a city called Hanau and because we are still inside of the city we are just allowed to drive 50 km per hour and actually yes we are driving 51. When we pass the sign of leaving Hanau we are allowed to drive much faster because we are driving out of Hanau. It's a landscape road, one lane going straight ahead, another one coming towards us. So in that case it's 100. However, a lot of you are watching me from bigger cities and there it might be a little bit different. Right now we've got two lanes going straight ahead and two lanes coming towards us and both directions are separated through a barrier. So in that case, if you leave the village or the town, you are allowed to drive unlimited. So there is no speed limit, even if you're not on a highway. However, if you're driving and you're about to speed up, be aware of speed limits because quite often they may occur very close after leaving the city. In that case, it's a little bit hidden and you can see we are allowed to speed up up to 70, but you're not allowed to drive faster. Even if the sign with the blue color might suggest you that you're on a highway, the highway would be just if you turn right and if we go straight ahead, we follow in a direction of a landscape road and with the speed of 70. So you pass that sign with 70 and you're going on with 70, even if everyone else is already speeding up because they might have seen already the 120 sign, but you have to go on with 70, 71, until you pass the sign of the 120 and then you're allowed to speed up. So please be patient and wait until you get to the sign and don't speed up earlier. What happens if you're already driving faster than 70 before passing the 120 sign? That depends how much faster you've been. If you drive 10 kilometers faster, so let's say you pass already with 80 the sign, then that would be a big mistake and if it would happen twice you will fail. But if you drive faster than 20 kilometers, in that case faster than 90 kilometers already before passing the 120 sign, you will fail immediately. So please go on with 70 until you pass the sign. How fast should you drive now? We should drive 120 and if you drive a little bit below, let's say 3 kilometers less than 120, 117 or 3 kilometers faster, 123, it's okay. So your range is plus minus 3 kilometers more. If you're just driving 80, if 120 is allowed and it might be totally free, the examiner will think, oh my god, he's so scared that he's not speeding up that he will think this guy needs more practice and he will let you fail quite soon just to be sure that someone who's not able to drive accordingly is not getting on German roads. So please, if it's possible, speed up to 120 but don't drive much faster, just free more or less is allowed and totally all right. However, have an eye and look quite forward. Maybe you're seeing already the next speed limit. Yeah, you see, it's always a red sign with white in it. Maybe you can't still see the correct speed limit, but it will be a limit. So in that case, be aware of it. Maybe release already gas and pay special attention to catch the right speed if it might appear. Because if you detect the sign too late, it's very difficult to break in time. Let's have a look. Right now we can see that there comes an 80 sign, but if you have a look on your speed, we are much too fast to be at 80 from the sign on. Remember, the speed limit starts from the sign. That means you have to break B4 to be exactly with 80 kilometers 
with the sign. Right now it looks much better. We are close to the 80 sign. You are already in 85. And if you leave the brake 5 kilometers before your required speed, you will hit exactly the 80 when you're at the sign. Why? Because until you receive the information from the display that you're in 85 and you're telling your feet to release the brake, you will be actually exactly at 80. So keep in mind, if you have a speed limit and you want to hit it exactly with the sign, always stop braking something around 5 kilometers before the requested speed. Be aware of additional signs below the 80 sign. Sometimes you have a wide board below it. If this sign appears below the 80 sign, then it means that just trucks have to drive 80 and you are allowed to drive straight ahead with 120 as before. Another typical sign could be that one. In this case, from 10 till 6 o'clock in the morning, you have to drive 80, but if you're outside of that time slot, you are allowed to go straight ahead with 120 as before. And last but not least, another common example, that one. In this case, the 80 sign is valid from now on, from the sign on, up to 300 meters, and then you are allowed to drive faster again. But during this 300 meters, you have to maintain 80. It's all about detecting speed limits as soon as possible that you can take action before to hit the right speed from the sign on. So are there any tips that I can know that there might appear a speed limit soon? Yes. For example, if you're driving on a normal landscape road. We are allowed to drive 100, we are driving around 100, we have got one lane for us, one lane for the coming traffic, and you're going straight ahead. Be aware of directional boards in front of you. A directional board is not only advising you that you might go right or straight ahead, it is telling you that in front of you might appear a crossing. Crossings on landscapes are quite often regulated by traffic lights and to catch the traffic light correctly you have quite often a speed limit before the traffic light. Let's have a look. You pass that sign and yes, there is a 70 sign waiting for you that you are reducing speed to pass the traffic light. So it's highly recommended to slow down your speed if you see a sign like this to be prepared for any speed limit which might appear after it. And yes, after passing the traffic light, you're allowed to speed up. Not immediately. You have to wait until you see such a sign and until you pass it. First, it's still 70, but if you pass the sign, you're allowed to speed up again 200 km per hour. And is there something else which might help you to guess what might come ahead of me? Yes, there is. If you're again driving through the landscape road and you're seeing on the horizon in front of you already houses, soon will show up a sign like this that you're entering again a village or a town. Because in front of the village, you have the village entry sign. And remember, this village entry sign is the same like a 50 sign, because inside a village or town, you have to drive 50. Sometimes you might first see an 80 sign, then a 70 sign, and then you're getting close to the village. But sometimes, there is absolutely nothing to warn you and the village sign comes out of nothing. So be aware if you see houses from far away, be sure that you're already pay a lot of attention, maybe start to break down a little bit already to catch the sign of the village entry with 50 to have no troubles in exam. If you think of another difficult road situation, Describe it in the comments and make it the topic of my next video. See you soon.